Do you know this man? I do. He's a friend of mine. He's a jolly good rapscallion and a bally good turtle. I love him a lot and I love him dearly. And thus I have made this symposium tonight to register a polemic upon the interests of faces which look like other faces. Do you have friends which look like other friends and faces and famous people and whatnots and general shenanigans and seeing double gangers and whatnots in your own ghosts of your own visage of mirages of chums? Hmm? Well, you're not alone. Let's look at this man. This man is called Nathaniel. He's a complete burk, a complete imbecile. But I love him. I love him. He has very little going for him apart from desperate, desperate hope and determination and a cracking, cracking sense of humour. But apart from that, he is just lost in a void of ex-LSD sufferance and I, too, with him in some part, uh, cast asunder from the unholy drift of the morasses. Nevertheless, we shall move on to the point of this speech. You see, this man reminds me of these four people. Do you know who they are, children? I do. That is Charlie from Casualty. Okay? Charlie and Casualty, that was the first thing I noticed about Nat. Okay? He looks a bit like Charlie from Casualty, with a touch of Barnes from Platoon. If you mould the two and place them over a kind of veneer of physiology and the facial realm, you might get a sort of nap without beard, sans beard for the posh. Okay? But the point is, we come to Matthew McConaughey, and I know why Matthew McConaughey now isn't more successful among the masses as to the right that he should be. It's because his surname is so difficult to spell, the masses just give up. You can't expect the great unwashed to spell surnames like McConaughey, mate. You're just asking for trouble. It's just unreal. Right? And do you know this latter man now with the beard? He's a latter option to the lookalike contest. But this chap is Rob Reiner, director of films like Stand By Me which was epic in its day, and he's done a few other good ones, I can't remember them quite now, to my shame. But they are such good films, he's made quite a few belters, and I really respect him as a visionary and a, an intellectual American. But, if you combine Matthew McConaughey, Rob Reiner, Barnes from Platoon, and Charlie from Friends, with a bit of beard touchery, you might have to remove the beard, you might have to keep it a bit more trim, I don't know. But basically, and the glasses, I don't know where they came from, I think that's just natural and like, look, look new wave, new wave, I'm on guard, yeah, yeah, I'm really trendy, you know. But actually, he's the mix of Charlie, Barnes, Matthew and Rob. And you can't say fairer than that on uh, visual recognition systems. So there you go, that's my friend Nath. I just thought I'd tell you that, because I put a lot of work into putting this little film together. So I thought it was important. I thought for a moment, there in my scallywag ways, I thought, I know, this will be a laugh. I'll print out a few photos. I can't afford the ink. You think I'd do this just casually? <laughs> it's taken me hours to get to this position of standing in front of the camera, you dumb nitwits. Anyway, so I made all this, put it on my green wall. It'll probably leave a stain because I had to use sellotape. But I had to declare that Nat, my buddy chum, looks like these dudes. And I want you to see it. I want you to feel it. I want you to know it and grow it and show it. So we will all live well in the new coming future, which isn't what they sell you in the media or in the war campaign. It's a far high greater thing of religious matters in the Christian field than you could ever possibly imagine should the prophecies come true. So well done, and keep it under your hat, and keep on behaving. You're doing great. I'm out of here.